This is the flat file I made years ago. It is entirely possible that I learned about this from Tom Lipton's book, but I don't remember. But you can see from the shiny spots that it was lightly, uh, lightly stoned or ground. I don't remember how I made it. Uh, and of course the tang was taken off and it's used like this, right? Like I have, a, I have some spots here. Actually, that's a spot that's already been stoned. I can kind of almost feel it. And it's sort of a, it's sort of good for rough stuff, but it does a great job and it won't dig in. And that's the purpose of the uh, flat file. So I almost forgot to, to add to the flat file explanation that the edges uh, were also ground. And you can see that the, uh, the edges were ground. Now I don't, I, I still don't remember how I did it, but uh, there you go. So the recipe for duplicating this is take a small file, uh, double cut, uh, lightly, lightly stone or grind uh, the points, safe the sides and remove the tang and you've got yourself a nice flat file. Uh, and of course, uh, because we had to, and I, I've never done this before, is we can, uh, we can stone that flat file like this. And you can tell by feel that it's uh, basically doing what it's supposed to do. Now, it, it's a little bent, but the bend comes out with a little pressure. So if you go to hinge it, you know, the hinge tells you that it's, watch, it's bent like this. Anyway, totally, uh, totally usable, fits in a pocket, uh, good for getting the big dinkuses off.